two silences spoke for America today. The first took just moments, as exactly a week after gunmen killed 20 children and six staff at the Newtown School, church bells to tolled and thousands of people across the US stood silently in respect. The second came not much later, as America's hugely influential Ra National Rifle Association broke its week-long silence to call not for gun control, nor on any ban on assault rifles, but for armed police officers to be installed in every school in the United States. Live now to Washington and Matt Fry. Matt. John, not just armed police officers, but also armed volunteers, armed civilians. It really does beg a belief what they have in mind. And let me just tell you how influential the NRA, the National Rifle Association, is. It's not just America's oldest lobbying group. It's also one of its best funded. And last year, it spent $27 million on trying to get congressmen elected who are implacably opposed to any form of gun control. And most of those, I have to say, were Republicans. Now, the NRA has been promising us all week that it would have a meaningful response to this massacre. And today, we heard what they meant by meaningful. One week on exactly, one chime for each victim. In Newtown, on the floor of the New York Stock Exchange, in the Oval Office. America is weeping but it's also weaponizing. Right now, it's our top seller. Since the massacre, the sale of assault weapons has spiked. I have one left today. Just in case the president does manage to ban them. And then there are these, bullet blockers, bulletproof school backpacks for the ever vigilant parent. Their sale increased fivefold since last Friday, and no, this is not a spoof website. And when nothing less than freedom is at stake, we fight. Nor is this. We are millions of people just like you. The National Rifle Association isn't known for pulling its promotional punches. If now had a full week to mull their response to the massacre and choose their words carefully. Good morning. Today they finally deployed their veteran boss, Wayne LaPierre, in a very rare press conference. The only thing that stops a bad guy with a gun is a good guy with a gun. And yes, this is also not a spoof. In this man's ideal universe, teachers are armed and schools are fortresses. What if, when Adam Lanza started shooting his way into Sandy Hook Elementary School last Friday, he'd been confronted by qualified armed security? Will you at least admit it's possible that 26 little kids, the 26 innocent lives might have been spared that day? No contrition, no, no questions, and no but astonishingly, the NRA did claim to be victims in all this. Is the press and the political class here in Washington, D.C., so consumed by fear and hatred of the NRA and American gun owners, that you're willing to accept a world where real resistance to evil monsters is a lone, unarmed school principal left to surrender her life, her life, to shield those children in her care. The hecklers were perhaps inevitable. To some, the NRA is more than ever the evil face of gun culture. But to its four million members and many more besides, it defends a constitutional right. It believes the answer to gun violence is more guns and it'll fight to the finish. So here we have, at the end of this appalling week, the President of the United States launching into an inquiry into how to get rid of gun violence, how to limit the sale of assault weapons on the streets of America. And we have the NRA launching a rival inquiry, how to do exactly the opposite, deploy more guns, answer the question of gun violence by deploying more weapons on the streets of America. They really are talking about two com completely different worlds. And I have to say, and I, I, this may be a slight, slightly weird note to end on, I mean, if the minds were thinking of the end of days, you have to ask yourself, were they thinking of Wayne LaPierre? 
Matt Fry in Washington. And staying with America briefly, the former Democratic presidential candidate John Kerry is being nominated as the next U.S. Secretary of State. Senator Kerry, currently the chairman of the State Foreign Relations Committee, will replace Hillary Clinton if his nomination is approved.